analysis for February 2020. Before we start the case study, I just need to update you about some new changes in the syllabus. So this is the first time the students will be sitting the new syllabus case study. So before we go to the case analysis, I will just show the differences between the old syllabus and the new syllabus. So students in the old syllabus, specifically there were four skills, which is technical skills, the knowledge of the theory section, which was for 25%, then the business skill, the knowledge about the industry, which is 25%, then the people skill, the knowledge about the stakeholders mentioned in the pre-scene, 25%, and leadership skill, the action plan that you are going to take for a proposal or an issue with judgment. So this is how they comprise the previous syllabus. And there is something called fail, moderate, or strong. Now, every student should get at least moderate and score more than 80 marks in the exams. Suppose if he scores more than 80 marks and one skill is failed, he will not be able to clear. But students in the new syllabus, they have taken all of this out and they just want the student to score more than 80 marks. And also in the new syllabus, they have added a new skill called digital skill. Digital skill. And the paper duration is three hours, which was the same even in the old paper. And there are only three triggers in each question paper. So students, we can go to the case study analysis. So before we go, one more thing is, in the new syllabus, they only test, in the new syllabus, they only test the core activities, which is printed in the SEMA blueprint. So students, if you are studying today or tomorrow for the examination, or very much closer to the exam, just go through the core activities before, before you do the examination. So students, I think you can see the core activities in the screen here. It is clearly mentioning A, develop business strategy. So students, uh, the name of our company is ShinePod, which is a coffee company. So if I was in your position, I can evaluate strategic options for ShinePod. So you need to think how you can do the strategic analysis for ShinePod. I can recommend strategic decision for ShinePod. I can evaluate potential acquisition and divestment opportunities for ShinePod. I can recommend, which is leadership skill, responses to opportunities and threat arising from digital technology to ShinePod. So students just keep in mind that when you are revising, please be kind enough to connect your knowledge towards ShinePod in the co-activities what is given. And students, if you are very much strong in the co-activities, I can assure that you can pass the examination successfully. And students, please have a piece of paper and a pen when I'm doing the analysis so that you can write down the information what is mentioned. And students, if you have any doubts or anything which I have missed in the explanation, please feel free to comment in the comment box below. And also students, the financial analysis link is there in the comment below. You can check in the description. It is only having the ratio calculation. So please be kind enough to go through that also. It's very important. Now students, shine pot. So when we are going through this case, I think it is clearly mentioned coffee. So I think coffee is the industry in other words the business skill coffee okay shine for the business the company history and corporate published document social responsibility vision mission strategy so students i just need to put a double star or triple star or quad star for this section because frankly speaking students uh, this area what is mentioned is highly tested in the examination this area that is mentioned is highly tested in the examination so please keep in mind and a board of directors, which is the people skill 
uh, the organizational chart people still risk is mentioned students you need to do a small risk mapping before you go to the examination you need to identify how you can give the risk responses uh, internal audit charter so this is again p3 knowledge a uh, financial statement f3 financial statement extract from competitors financial statement as usual they are given a uh, share price history f3 a new story students i'll just put a star for this because generally the examiner creates the unseen scenario based from the news articles what is mentioned based on the news articles what is mentioned so please keep in mind that your mind should be so much fresh so that you will be able to do it okay students so when coming down now here you see sign pod that is the introduction you are a senior manager so you know that this is a common here because they have clearly mentioned also and even in the old syllabus it was the same in the finance function of shine pot sd you report directly to the board and advise on special projects and strategic matters so students unseen will be on special projects and strategic matters so please keep in mind sd is made in uh, middle land okay where the currency is m dollar so a forex risk will come so please keep in mind m dollar midland requires companies to prepare financial statements in accordance with ifrs so be very much careful uh, sd is quoted company so in f3 business valuation there can be idea market based valuation is possible for this company so please keep in mind vac knowledge weighted average cost of capital very important cap m which is capital asset pricing model all you need to revise it okay in the midland stock exchange this is an active and well regulated exchange so i think i can say is efficient market hypothesis it's a well regulated stock exchange companies are quoted on the exchange are required to adhere to midland code of corporate governance so corporate governance is very much crucial here students so p3 please be kind enough to revise it uh, which out detail regulation relating to governance arrangement for quoted companies so students there can be some scenarios on corporate governance issue so please be strong in that area students it's very important now students uh, when we come down here they are giving the idea about the coffee sector a uh, coffee is one of the most popular one of the most popular drink in the world that is true so i will just mention this most popular drinks in the world it is made from the bean that is developed inside the berries of a family shrubs or trees that are native to southern africa and asia so students mostly coffee has been imported here so please keep in mind there is an exchange rate risk students so please keep in mind there is an exchange rate risk but frankly speaking the asian region and the african region are developing region if i am not mistaken so their exchange rates are under control when you see a developed country although these plants are now cultivated in many countries around the world when the berries are ripe they are picked and processed so the beans can be extracted and dried so again they are just telling the process the dried coffee beans are roasted the roasted beans are ground after they can be used to make coffee by brewing them with very hot water so this is the normal process of making the traditional coffee uh, coffee is a popular drink it has a bitter taste which some coffee drinkers enjoy but it can be sweetened by adding milk or sugar there are also many different varieties with the flavor being affected by the species of shrubs which are berries that have been picked by the manner of berries that are roasted a uh, different varieties can be blended to create an event wider range of flavors a uh, coffee contains caffeine a stimulant that gives a cup of coffee refreshing quality which makes a popular breakfast it's slightly acidic and aids digestion so frequently drunk after the meal it also gives its name as a mid morning and mid afternoon coffee break or offered during the working hour so generally it's a good drink coffee is a major commodity that is traded in the international market usually priced in us dollar so our company m dollar and us dollar you should be very much keen there is an exchange rate volatility it is one of the top agricultural export in many countries it is one of the most valuable commodities exported by developing countries coffee export have the potential to keep significant proportion of population of some developing countries out of poverty 
A green or unroasted coffee is one of the most heavily traded commodities in the world. So students, I can say futures can come because it's a commodity. Please keep in mind. So students, here the market share, I think you can see the Latin American region has high range of market share of a coffee producers. So just keep in mind students. And you see India, Sri Lanka, the Asian region, African regions are mostly having the coffee area. Uh, coffee shrubs are grown in tropical countries. They are, require special growing condition tending to thrive east facing slopes to prevent from excessive sunshine. It takes four to five years from planting seed getting coffee berries. It is important to plant seed annually to ensure continuous cycle of new shrubs starting to bear fruit to replace those that are at the end of the productive life. The coffee plants will produce berries approximately 25 years. A good plant will lead, yield a kilo a year. So students, again, the process is natural and it takes a lot of time here. So students, you need to have a lot of sustainability practices in maintaining it. So I will just mention that sustainability practices is very much important in maintaining these things. Sustainability practices, students. It is very much important in maintaining all these things. So students, uh, when it comes here, they are telling coffee has a significant environmental footprint. A uh, coffee plantation requires great deal of water to enable the shrubs to thrive and create good crop of berries. Growers often use chemical as protection from weed and insect on plantation. So again, chemicals are being used, students. So there is a question mark whether it is 100% organic. So later this can happen in the examination. Coffee growers have been accused for clearing land and destroying important natural habitat. So students, there can be negative publicity. In other words, there can be negative publicity in the examination, uh, which will be very much important for you. This is particularly true when the wet process is used to remove the coffee bean from coffee berries before the berries have dried Doing so improves the flavor of the beans, but it requires the use of special equipment, large amount of water. They are also being concerned about exploitation of plantation workers. So again, I am telling you sweatshops like Nike had, there can be situation where one of your supplier is affected by these things, who may be forced to work for long hours for a poor pay. They are also concerned that the owners of the small plantation are exposed to fluctuation in the coffee prices that can result in being unable to support their families, provided when the price fell, they are forced to sell their crops for little or no profit. There have been a number of initiatives to address the sustainability issues. For example, there are an organic coffee plantation which uses persistent shrubs another strategy to avoid the use of chemicals. So this can become premium brands in the future, provided they are properly communicating this to the markets with proper environmental audits. There are also fair trade initiatives which involves playing the farmers a price that is sufficient to enable to support themselves and their families with the resulting price increase passed to the consumers. And uh, the coffee as a beverage student, so these are the types of beverage, the coffee bean or the ground coffee. Consumers can buy coffee in the form of roasted bean, which they have to grind in order to make the drink. Alternatively, they can buy the ground coffee bean. The ground coffee bean is uh, made into drink using a variety of different methods, all involving mixing of coffee with different uh, hot water, ideally below boiling and pricking hot water through ground coffee. Many coffee drinkers enjoy aroma flavor that is released when the coffee is made in this way. It is however quite time consuming comparison to the method and leaves the consumer with the need to dispose the used coffee grounds which are liable to cause stains if spilled on the furniture or the covering. The instant coffee is manufactured by brewing coffee in industrial quantities, filtering out the used ground and drying the resulting drink to leave soluble powder and granulated products. The consumer simply spoons this product into the cup and add this. So this one I can say instant coffee in this cafe, like an instant coffee. Instant coffee are more convenient because it's quicker to make and does not leave consumer to dispose of ground. Some consumers believe the instant coffee is inferior coffee made from the 
ground beam in other words that is the scraps they are using that is the idea here and the coffee shop coffee and this is the most important segment so most uh, towns and cities uh, have large number of coffee shops example like barista uh, starbucks all a large number of coffee shops okay uh, so they are clearly mentioning these uh, fulfill the needs and functions including providing public space in which customer can make friends and socialize they have an equipment that can make coffees that would be difficult to create at home coffee shops have trained baristas who can use to steam power machines and create coffee that are tested in that difficult home different than the home one popular variation is espresso which involves filling metal container which a ground coffee of blowing steam and the coffee at high pressure the small quantity is very concentrated coffee is released through the bottom of the container a coffee shops machines can also blow steam into jug of milk to create the froth the froth added to a cup espresso to make cappuccino or latte uh, these drinks are very popular but expensive and equipment needed to make them pop- uh, properly is too large to buy them at home and the next one is students coffee pods uh, just keep in mind this is our company price uh, what we are producing even shine we are producing this coffee pods this is the item we are producing so students just keep in mind students this is related to our company a uh, coffee pods make it possible to create coffee in the home that is almost good as coffee in the coffee shop like you can make cappuccino you can make espresso even in your home consumers buy an electrical coffee machine so you need to buy a coffee machine that is compatible with the preferred brand of coffee pod these machines are small enough to fit into the kitchen worktop without taking too much space and could be kept under a cupboard which is not in use consumers also take a supply of coffee pod which are usually sold online and being able uh, available in the supermarket so i think there's a digital skill here online you can purchase this coffee pods the pods are made out of plastic and aluminium each pod containing a measure quantity of ground coffee the pods are all, all they are telling here plastic and aluminium so students uh, there will be a, a sustainability issue because how can we recycle these things each uh, pod containing a measure of quantity of ground coffee the pods are all tight and kept in the coffee fresh before the consumption the coffee fills in the tanks in the machine with water insert a pod into the chamber and place a cup below to the machine spout the machine then automatically heats the water punches the pot and blow down the steam through the coffee ground and allow coffee to flow through the spout into the cup the used ground remain within the pot which has disposed carefully because it takes some time to cool down and it's liable to drip some coffee through the holes created by the machine some coffee machines can create froth from the milk to enable the consumer to make cappuccino some consumers find it more convenient to use coffee pot rather than ground beans the used coffee pods are also easier to dispose of the loose coffee grounds than it can be messy now let's come to our company here shine pod that is a short term sd so uh, sd was established in mid 1980 so reputation high reputation students good company a very established i think 1980s by an entrepreneur one person only initially started who believed that the consumer was willing to pay more for better quality coffee coffee drinkers were spending increasingly amount in coffee shops in order to enjoy good quality coffee which shopping or while commuting to our work these indulgent purchases were becoming so popular that the phrases of latte factor was used to describe the phenomenon personal spending of frequent small trade such as coffee shop tree, uh, coffee shop uh, coffee affecting individual ability to save so that was the understanding of the market because he wanted people to understand it properly the founder's vision was to develop a technology that would enable consumer to create espresso style coffee at the same time the only way to make espresso at home involves the use of complicated system that involved a metal jug which could be broken down and allowed to bottom to be filled with tray containing ground coffee heating the jug and the stove created high pressure steam in the bottom half uh, which rose through the tray coffee filling the half of the jug espresso now this is the problem what happens when you are doing it 
दिस मशीन सो मेसी एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग टू यूज सो दैट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम एट द पास द फाउंड डेवलप्ड अ सिस्टम दैट कैन बी यूज इन द सेम प्रिंसिपल एज द मेटल जग बट ईजियर टू ऑपरेट कंज्यूमर्स वुड बाय एन इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायंस दैट वुड हीट दैन वॉटर पास थ्रू द रिजल्टिंग स्टीम सो so this is the electrical appliance what they are saying and you could have seen this in most of the offices and also in the coffee shops a uh, pot uh, a contained in a pot made out of plastic and aluminium this required much less effort conventional espresso makers and produce excellent coffee so i do agree with him because now it's 2020 so almost uh, for 40 years they have been successful in simple language so i can generally say that concept is good because even people are preferring it till now the concept proved to be successful and sd pot system was launched in early 1990s sd grew rapidly and the company was quoted in midland stock market in 1997 the founder sold his shares shortly after there was no interest in the company so when the company listed the original founder sold it but still i think that's not an issue at the moment because still the company is running very well for 13 years for more than 13 years students it's almost like uh, 23 years if i'm not mistaken uh, sd pods are made out of plastic and aluminium they are engineered with a wide stand of pressure of steam flowing through the coffee ground contained within each pod can be used only once because the machine punches the top bottom in order to allow the steam enter the coffee so only once they can be used so recycling can be a question mark here because only once they can use whether is there any possibility to reuse it is a question to be thought sd does not manufacture the machines it has granted three manufacturer of consumer electrical goods i feel that's a good one a three person that is homewire opalast and zen decom the right to use the name in promoting and selling coffee machines that are compatible with sd pods all these three manufacturers are essentially in competition with one another although they differentiate their products in the terms of quality finish and feature there are also sufficient demand for sd compatibility machines to justify the manufacture of different companies so students uh, one issue is quality standards is an issue here students because uh, if the company sd does not have quality standard the machinery may create a problem of taste uh, which will counter attack sd's uh, spot so please keep in mind in addition permitting all these companies to use sd name in their machine and their advertising sd promotes the machine through its website without making a charge that's the marketing methodology they use sd consumers research indicates that consumers tends to be loyal customers once they have invested in a machine they are competing machine manufacturers of coffee pods each manufacturer's pods are designed to fit exclusively in the machine that are designed for their own brand competitor pods do not fit in sd compatible machines and sd pods will not fit in competitors machine so they have done a lock in arrangement that means only in what specified machine it will be there several manufacturers of electrical good including homeware allplast and zendikan made machines that use competing brand of coffee pods also so even they are using that so my issue is do you have a control over this and can there be a proposal where you start your own machinery because you can start your own machinery also and you can follow the loss leader strategy like giving the printer ink and uh, charging for high value for the pods you can do that students loss leader strategy can be followed uh, coffee pods are most expensive way to make coffee at home uh, bean grounds coffee and constant coffee can be manufactured and packaged at much lower than the pods coffee pods are also relatively bulkier and heavier and alternatives so it cost more to the stores and then and distributes them sd addresses problems by selling exclusively online customers can log in to the website and can choose from selection of different varieties of coffee SD then dispatches the pods using the next day third party courier so that is their logistical issue next day third party courier so you need to be very much careful there can be logistical issues also students so please keep in mind supply chain management supply chain management upstream downstream supply chain customers find online sales convenient because of the box of pods would add bulk to their weekly shopping 
supermarkets would also be somewhat reluctant to stock pot because they would take lot of shelf space in comparison to ground and coffee the only places where sd pots are sold in the counter of boutique shops that sd has opened in prominent places such as upmarket city center shopping streets railway stations this permit customers to sample different varieties of sd coffee free of charge if they are registered customer they also sell machines and pods although the main purpose of the shop is to promote the product and increase the brand recognition so they have their boutique shops also sd also advertises its pod heavily on television so that's heavily they advertise in television in glossy magazine and billboard as well as through website its advertising always features leading movie actors so there can be provision situation with movie actors in order to create the link between the sd coffee and luxury for several years sd had paid actor george negrato to be the face of sd appearing in adverts in which he drinks coffee with one or more of his celebrity friends feedback from customer shows these adverts have been very successful in creating sense of brand recognition for sd so there can be lot of situations students these actors may commit some crime which can affect the brand also so just keep in mind sd is also pay very close attention to ground coffee it uses in its pot it promotes itself a luxury brand so it insists using the only best quality coffee in its pot the pods themselves are also made so they look attractive and are pleasant to handle they are molded from good quality plastic aluminium and are constructed as they feel and smooth Uh, SD works closely with major coffee growers uh, around the world. SD uses mainly Arabica coffee beans, uh, which are more expensive than other kinds, but also very popular with coffee drinkers worldwide. So it's a premium type of beans they are using, and students please keep that in mind. Arabica coffee. There are thirty-seven different varieties of pods that SD uses. Varieties of coffee from virtually every coffee growing country. different climate affects the growth so the flavor of the resulting coffee so they have 37 varieties even that looks very good students here alanzo paras the sd's director of overseas operations so please keep the name here alanzo paras uh, travels constantly to liaise with plantation owners his staff conduct frequent visit to plantation to ensure the coffee being grown and harvested in accordance with sd's preferences so the resulting coffee beans are a high quality This visit seeks to ensure that the policies are in place to protect the welfare of the plant was plantation workers. Berries are picked by hand, so the labor-intensive process. SD is prepared to offer advice and even invest in facilities to support the plantation. For example, the bean extracted from the ripe red berries are better flavor than those berries. They are slightly green. SD encourages plantation to use wet process to extract the bean. from the berries because uh, beans from the better quality berries sink to the bottom of the tank so can be gathered for the sale of sd leaving the rest of the crop sale to the customer sd had invested a large drying shed so to come close to the major growers these are used to permit the beans to be dried indoors on the racks are protected from the rain which reduces the risk of beans fermenting and uh, tainting the flavor of the coffee Otherwise, many growers would dry their beans outside. Drying takes approximately three weeks, so just keep in mind drying is very important. Once the beans are dried and polished, which is essentially the stirring of beans up, so rub against one another. They also sort them by size. The beans are referred as greens at the stage. SD insists on receiving very high quality beans, so it pays fifteen percent. more than the market price so please keep that in mind students very much essential in the examination uh, of the quality the processed beans are shipped to sd's factory in midland uh, which are roasted and uh, ground this is a crucial part of the process because coffee brewed from green beans would taste very bitter and unpleasant the roasting process gives coffee beans the characteristics the drinkers enjoy A roasting coffee is a skilled craft and sd employs experts a green beans are roasted in large drums so the heat are presently controlled temperature of specific duration the heat and time is varied respect to the various bean and can be made for example lightly roasting beans can give coffee lighter color and more 
subtle flavor while the dark rose could give the stronger taste uh, most sd spot produce a variation of espresso coffee which requires a dark roast but some sd beans are given a light roast to add particular flavor to the darker roast in the blend making up of variety of pot the roasted beans must be ground to very specific consistency sd requires coffee to be ground so that the resulting grounds are fine but if they are too fine they will be carried into consumers cup and will turn the flavor sd has different grinding machines for each variety of bean that is processed so no cross contamination of flavors sd manufactures the plot on site and the ground coffee beans are blended in different varieties and used to fill the pods because the pods seals and packs The finished coffee are packed in cardboard sleeves, each holding ten pods. So please keep in mind, students, the cardboard sheet will have ten pods. So this is the cardboard which has ten pods. The sleeves are so, uh, st stored in the distribution center, awaiting dispatch for customer uh, required in order to multiply hundred pods, which means that it can be standardized into carton products for delivery. Order placed online are fulfilled by third party couriers. So please keep in mind there is a logistical risk. so uh, students uh, when you come here is this uh, corporate published document a very important page students i will just put a star a triple star for this page meaning is that students uh, you should somehow keep this in your mind somehow keep this in your mind and whenever you are starting to write the answer please don't forget these things very crucial sustainability our success is inextricable link to the improvement of lives of farmers and suppliers who grow and produce our product so students this is a very sensitive thing on sustainability because students in practical life uh, whether this is happening is a question mark is that true or false sd ensure that it use a premium arabica coffee is sustainable in long term so please keep that in mind we are committed to offering ethically purchased and responsible produce so ethically purchased so again there can be some unethical issue like employing miners in the work estates and highest quality making coffee the world sustainable product to improve the life of taste 1 million people of coffee communities around the world our holistic approach to ethically sourcing is high quality coffee helps foster better future of farmers and communities sd uses wet process on separating coffee beans from coffee berries the process uses lot of water in areas where clean fresh water is short in supply sd creates deep bore holes and pumps water to the surface of the farm to supply sufficient in terms of water the the facility supply many local communities with clean water augmented local so so they are also helping on the water supply sd has built drying sheds that are open at sites that are they use on natural flow to dry coffee beans and do not use any fuel Uh, is this third party code of conduct in employment this code applies to all third party entities which do uh, business with sd sd expects all such entities to maintain working conditions to meet international declared human rights standard first one third party shall not discriminate against individual all appointments will be based on merit regardless of uh, factors including age race gender so students this is corporate governance also but please keep in mind students very much important third party shall pay employees at least applicable minimum wage that is also important and it depends on the local legislation also so they need to be very much certain there third party shall not require employees to work excessive overtime third party shall provide safe and healthy environment the third party shall ensure employees are not subject to abusive or bullying behavior so students if you are going to the examination please prepare for one of the scenario where the employees are getting affected please prepare for one of the scenario where employees are getting affected uh, so sd vision mission and values a uh, vision a cup of joy in every house i generally feel it's like the mission student because students uh, if you see mission is what business you are in instead of a cup of joy i can say a cup of coffee filled with joy a cup of coffee filled with joy they are not mentioning anything regarding to their business what they are in but the vision statement is this vision actually they are mentioned mission is to succeed meeting our customer need for excellent coffee and our shareholders need 
for strong return on their investment. Values, very important. Deliver highest possible coffee experiences to customers. Maintain high standards of ethics and professionalism in all work. Improve welfare of our coffee growers. Treat our planet with respect. SD strategy is focused on continuing global expansion. SD has grown organically and adopted differentiation strategy. So Michael Porter's generic strategy is there. So just I'll mention here generic strategy. Its premium coffee pods contains the best quality of Arabica coffee. SD works with coffee growers to ensure coffee they purchase is grown in good condition and only the best ripe coffee berries are used in its product. SD monitors its growers whom it uses to ensure uh, they pay living wages provided good working condition. SD sells almost exclusively online and delivers its pod quickly to the consumers. 70% deliveries are made within 24 hours of ordering. So what about the 30% of the delivery? You need to have a question mark. SD's premium brand and its products are expensive. Uh, despite this, uh, the demand for the pods have grown steadily. And students, uh, this is the uh, board of directors. They have the executive board and the non-executive board. So I'll just mention here as people skill. So I want you to remember all these names when you're writing the answer. For example, students, if there is an issue in one of our overseas plantation, you should give the responsibility to Alan's or Paris and try to restrict yourself by always saying CEO should take responsibility because Frankly speaking, in a real company situation, the CEO comes into the picture when there is no sort of control. But initially, you should give it the picture to the people who are already there. And the organizational chart, this is given commercial human resource chief financial overseas director. But one thing, uh, the IT, IT, IT is not there actually because we have this the the operations in online so there can be it issue here students so i'll just mention information technology is an issue there so please keep in mind students and this is the non-executive so you have audit risk and remuneration but one thing that is missing is what committee students it's the nomination committee one thing that is commonly missing is what students it is the nomination committee so please keep that in mind students nomination committee is missing and students, uh, this is a very, very important thing. You need to go through this risk. Very, 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 very important. And this can come in the exam. So please be kind enough to go through, especially the IT students, because the cyber risk is something new they have included in the new syllabus students. Cyber risk, cyber security. Please keep that in mind, students. Very much important. And I told you environment is very much important and crucial. And other risks also can affect it. And the auditor's charter and again students you need to go through this document where they are telling the audit process but they may ask you to design some internal control internal control procedures for the company students internal control procedures so please keep that in mind and then students the financial statements are given and again students you see a dividend paid you see a big dividend of 286 paid it's a huge one and the exchange loss translation there's a translation loss here students that meaning is your currency is becoming stronger so that's the reason it's in becoming an exchange loss because here you are importing so when your currency is becoming stronger what happens you keep in mind students exchange rate loss because you are an importer here and you have a strong currency i believe and and then students uh, here the financial statements are given and please keep in mind translation reserve is given and the competitors also almost the same type of financial statements and again they have given but one issue is they do not have any revaluation anything from the both the parties so just keep in mind and the share prices are constantly growing students so it shows a positive indicator there and also the geared beta is 0.51 and geared 0.45 so i think the shares are having less risk here students so please keep in mind cap m theory of beta uh, students uh, good gardening these are very important articles here they are telling how coffee pods can be recycled and the problem that is caused by the aluminium and the battle of machines they are telling the features that should be there in a machine to have success you can go through this in detail one of these can come as an unseen one of these article students and uh, happy george signed a contract for another three years 
again students there can be an issue here his contract will have some restriction and sometimes he may have some injury where he may not come to any actions of the same and midland telegraph the supermarket is uh, uh, reducing the prices which is affecting the wholesalers so please keep in mind how to encounter that and this is a very important thing the legal threat of food manufacturer the government is trying to increase the prices of some food including coffee and stuck in the bin and again this is a problem where it's very difficult to dispose the pods uh, into the general waste or the coffee waste or aluminium because it's completely tied up so it's very difficult to dismantle and and then students uh, you have the website blogs of ceo where people are asking question regarding how re how reliable is the plantation workers being treated very well and the taste test is done and the return to the tender on how they find it very difficult in the aeroplane uh, to have the recycling process and they are asking these things so students i think this time the case study is not so hard i see so i again telling you go through the core activities in detail they will develop the answers from that practice some mock students and good luck for your examination uh, thank you very much everyone students have a great examination god bless you all